Hello, and welcome to Clearing the Air. I'm Chrissy Clocker, Applications Engineering Manager at Donaldson. Today I'd like to spend a couple of minutes talking to you about NFPA combustible dust standards. One of the most common questions I get is, I know my dust is combustible, but there are a lot of NFPA standards. Where do I start? Believe it or not, the answer is simple. Start with NFPA 652, the fundamentals of combustible dust. This standard provides the general requirements for identifying and managing fire and explosion hazards associated with combustible dust. It also directs process owners to various industry-specific or commodity standards and establishes hierarchy between conflicting guidance. Industry-specific standards such as NFPA 61 for agriculture and food processing, 44 for metal dust, and 664 for wood dust were created to identify various strategies proven to be successful mitigation solutions for hazards associated within industry processes. If you don't fall under one of the industry-specific standards, NFPA 652 has a flowchart that guides process owners to the general combustible dust standard, which is NFPA 654. Whether you fall under an industry-specific standard or the general combust standard, or both, you'll be directed to reference design standards that tell you how to mitigate the hazards in your process. These include NFPA 68, which covers explosion protection using deflagration venting techniques. NFPA 69, detailing explosion prevention and isolation. NFPA 77, for static electricity, and others. Access to all NFPA standards is available online for free at nfpa.org. You can also order PDF copies or hard copies of the standards for easier access. Depending on the complexity of your process and dust, NFPA standards can be a challenge to navigate. Mitigation strategies are never one size fits all, so document your decisions and consult with your local authority having jurisdiction, or AHJ. For more information, contact us at donaldsontorrett.com. We'll see you next time on Clearing the Air.